Hi there, in this video I will show you how you can create automation clips for reason uh, inside FL Studio. Uh, I will use this MIDI out channel. You can use this knobs here in this fader to create automation clips on the playlist here and to control uh, the settings here on reason. Okay. And I will also show you how you can um, create automation clips for this effect here because it's a bit more complicated and so let's start. I have here a basic setup uh, if you don't know how to make this uh, setup you can watch tutorials so you, uh, on how to rewire uh, Reason and, and FL Studio and I have a melody here that I made for a song and I'll play it and then I will create those automation clips and you will see how it sounds, okay? So to create that automation clip uh, you will have to use something called MIDI charts uh, in the folder where you have installed your your reason uh, you you see this uh, folder called documentation and if you open that you, see, you will see this uh, PDF file called MIDI implementation charts uh, and if you open it uh, you see this mm, this table here and what you have here is uh, all these things here are all the instruments that you have in Reason and also the effects here, the compressor and all the stuff that you have in Reason and on the left side of this table uh, which is here you have this, these numbers uh, and these are the numbers that uh, you need in order to create those automation clips okay so I have uh, I'm using a subtractor here with a, with a basic preset the default preset and I want to create an automation clips an automation clip for this uh, filter uh, or for example for the volume uh, I will use the filter in this uh, tutorial and to do that uh, you have to put your mouse over this button here or over the button that you want to create the automation clip for and you will see the name uh, that appears there and the value and you have to look for the exact same name that appears here uh, on this list okay so I first uh, look for the for my instrument it's a subtractor and you can see it here and I'm looking for the filter frequency and you can see here uh, filter frequency modulation will but I'm not that's what I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for this one and the MIDI number is 74 okay, I'm, re I'm using reason 4 as you can see but uh, for reason three, I think the the numbers are the same. But anyway, you can if something changes, you have that uh, MIDI chart list uh, for reason three as well. So with that number, I go back to to FL Studio, and you can use uh, any of these buttons here, including this uh, fader. I will use this one and right click on it and click uh, configure and here you can type a name and the short name is the one that will that will appear in this little window here and where it says minus one uh, you have to put the name uh, the number that you found on that list in this case is 74 and <coughs> make sure this is set to CC it comes by default and leave the minimum and maximum value to, to the default okay so now this uh, knob here is is directly controlling this filter okay so if I I create uh, an automation clip for it now uh, right click and choose create automation clip I will create, create this uh, automation clip another uh, good thing of making uh, the automation clips here is that uh, you can adjust the tension okay in reason it's a bit more difficult because uh, it can only draw straight lines here you can make uh, some funny stuff like double curves, uh, stairs. Okay, it does that automatically, so you don't have to 
worry about that. Well, so let's see how it sounds. And I will put them both here and watch this uh, filter frequency going up and down following the automation that I just created. <laughs> You can do that for uh, any of these settings here, for the volume, for the filter too, for the envelopes, for anything that you have here. But you have to keep in mind that uh, this MIDI out is controlling uh, only the subtractor. Okay. Uh, when you assign this uh, MIDI out to an instrument here, uh, you select the instrument from this list and the subtractor one is going to channel 8 and I used port 1 so if you want to create an automation clip for for the filter for example or for the unison uh, which is here uh, the unison you cannot you cannot do that because this MIDI out is controlling only the subtractor so if you want to create the automation clip for one of the effects that uh, is going with this instrument what you have to do is to combine this all and use the combinator to program one of the four uh, buttons of the combinator and use a single MIDI out. I will show you how you can do that now. So the first thing you have to do is uh, select all the instruments uh, holding down uh, control and shift uh, and select all the instruments and the effects and choose right click on them and click combine. And I have now I have all of them inside this combinator and by doing this uh, it's kind of reducing your possibilities because now you can only have four automations uh, for these instruments but the good thing is that you can now also automate uh, these effects uh, using the same the same media out if you don't combine them you should you should add another MIDI out only for uh, for this effect and if you want to create another automation clip for another effect you have to add another MIDI out okay so to for example for the unison if you want to create an automation clip for unison you have to, pro to program one of these buttons here to control uh, the unison and you do that by programming here uh, you click show programmer and select the effect that you want in this case the unison and select rotary one which is this one and say and select here uh, which uh, of these controls uh, you want to link to the rotary one okay and in this case I will choose the dry wet and if I move it you see it uh, following the rotary one okay but uh, one thing you have to do is to change the information here on the channels and the ports uh, because you can see that now the combinator is going to channel 13 and uh, I had that MIDI out configured to um, for the subtractor which was going on channel 8 so have to delete the the old one and add the new configuration I'm going to channel 13 and I'm using the same port and it should play now but this one will not be useful now because the MIDI number it's not the same and uh, another very important thing is that for the num the MIDI number that you have to look to watch now here on, on that list is not the MIDI number of this of this button uh, you have to look for the MIDI number of this rotary one okay so you go back here on the list and look for the subtractor for the combinator and, and it's right here the combinator and I will scroll scroll down here and here's rotary one and its MIDI number is 71 okay so go back to FL Studio change the number here to 71 click accept and I will create an automation clip again the old one is 
is useless now. And if I play, you should. Okay, you see the unison moving, okay? Because it's following the rotary one. I, the automation clip that I made here is for rotary one, and because uh, the unison is linked to that, it's following it, okay? Well, I'm running out of time, so uh, here ends the tutorial. I hope uh, it's helpful for you. And well, see you on the next one.